Hi, my name's Lauren, and I'm a consultant here at Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner, and we help small businesses automate their processes. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a report in Salesforce Lightning. So starting out, you can log into Salesforce. From there, you can click on your Reports tab. If you don't see the Reports tab, you can always go to the App Launcher on the left here and type in Reports. It'll get you to the same place. So from here, we're going to click the New Report button. Not the new report in Salesforce Classic because we're going to be creating this report in Salesforce Lightning. And then here is where you choose the report type. So let's say we want to do an opportunities report. Now you'll notice we have a bunch of different options here. There's opportunities, but there's also opportunities with products, with contact roles, etc. So which one should you choose? Most of the time, I'm going to recommend you choose the top level, like main opportunities report. This will capture all opportunities. If you do opportunities with products, you're only going to capture opportunities that have products related to them. So it's possible that you have an opportunity, but maybe some products haven't been added yet. So in order to get all of that data on all your opportunities, go with opportunities. Now, a few things I like to do is I like to hit this toggle to update the preview automatically. This one's already been checked, but usually it'll be unchecked. So just toggle that. Here, I'll start with my filters. So all opportunities is good. Something to be aware of is sometimes it'll be under my opportunities. So just depending on how you want to view that data, if you want to view your whole org versus opportunities that you own. In this case, we want to see all of the opportunities in our company. Let's change the close date to current fiscal year. And let's say we only want to look at closed one opportunities. Over in the outline, you can clean up the data that you see on the right. So let's say owner role is blank. Let's just remove that. You can also group by opportunity owner. I would also group by close date is another good one. Now here it's the individual dates. Another good tip is to group your dates. Calendar month sounds pretty good. So now we can see all the opportunities in our company by the opportunity owner and the close date. Another thing you can do is you can add more fields. You would just type in the field that you're searching for, or if you're not really sure what field you want to add, you can open this on the left side here and scroll through and see all of the available fields that you could possibly add to this report. You can also add a chart if you wanted, and you can mess with the chart settings over here. Play around with it. You can get rid of detailed rows, simplifies the table, those are some of the tips and tricks that I typically find helpful with reporting. Always change your report name. So you want to make it pretty detailed to make sure that you understand what the report is telling you. So this one is telling us closed one opportunities by owner. So that would be a good report name to have for this particular report. Then you just click save. You have your report name. You can write a report description if you want. Now, you can keep your report private, but if you want to be able to share reports with other people in your company, you're going to need to put it in a public report. So the thing about sharing reports is you don't share reports by the individual report. You share reports and dashboards through folders. So you need to make sure that people have access to the folder that you are putting that report or dashboard in in order for them to have access. Hit save, and that's it. You've created your first report. I highly recommend checking out our Road of YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist about Salesforce reports where you can learn how to create very specific reports, like um, a Salesforce growth report or a win rate report. We have a lot of good videos there on reports in general, so I highly recommend you check that out. If you found this video helpful, please click like. If you would like more Salesforce tutorials, please click subscribe, and have a great day.